The first thing we're gonna focus on is the foot. And the reason why we're focusing on the foot is because the foot is the master behind all the things that happen in your lower body. If, for example, you have toes that are overlapping over each other, or you have flat feet and no arch strength, then guess what happens? Your ankles collapse, your knees collapse, your hips go in, your glutes turn off, your lower back hurts, your knees hurt, your hips hurt, your ankles hurt, your feet even hurt. And so the first thing we're gonna focus on today is your feet. And we're gonna start with stretching your feet. So, if you have feet where you feel like your toes are constantly scrunched up together and there's not a lot of space between your toes, then the first thing we need to do is we need to start by stretching our toes. So I'm gonna show you guys, if you have those feet, they've been crammed into a, to a, um, shoes your whole life, the first thing we're gonna do is stretch our toes. And there's two ways we wanna stretch our toes at night. And you can do this while watching TV, all right? First way is we pull the toe up. So I'm gonna take my pinky toe, I'm gonna pull it up for 10 seconds, and then I'm gonna pull it down for 10 seconds, just like this. Then I'm gonna take my ring toe, pull it up for 10 seconds, and I'm gonna pull it down for 10 seconds. Same thing on the middle toe, up for 10 seconds, down for 10 seconds. Who's ever showed you to stretch your toes before? That's what we're doing today. And then we're gonna take this toe, pull it up for 10 seconds, pull it down for 10 seconds. And finally, the big toe, pull it up for 10 seconds, pull it down for 10 seconds. So by creating more flexion and extension through your toes, we allow the toes to get back to doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is creating balance in our lower body, okay? Now, the second way we wanna stretch our toes is laterally. A lot of us, we put our feet inside shoes and our toes are stacked on top of each other. Maybe we even have bunions, things like that. So how do we stretch laterally? Well, another way to do this at night is you cross your ankle over your knee and you take your finger and you put it in between your big toe and the next toe. Then you take your next finger and you put it between that toe and the next toe. Then you take your next finger and you put it between that toe and the next toe. And then finally, you put your pinky finger between your toes at the end, okay? And if you sit like this, you'll feel kind of a stretch between your toes. For some people, especially if you have big fingers, this might be too hard for you. So what you can do is stretch two toes at a time and then two toes at a time, like this. Or if you really want to get some amazing bang for your buck without having to put your fingers between your toes like this to get that lateral stretch, you can go buy a pair of toe spacers, the same type of toe spacers that you would get if you were just finishing a pedicure and put them between your toes on both feet and just sit in those toe spacers every night for about 30 minutes to try and regain that function of our toes being able to spread out and create space in between those toes. And this is so important because the next thing I'm gonna be teaching you is about activating the muscles on the bottom of the foot that are gonna help your feet feel so much better. So let's go over here. I wanna show you a cool bottoms, bottom view of this particular motion so you can see what I'm talking about. So here we go. I'm gonna put my foot down on top of this camera right here. Now here's the thing. When we have flat feet, what you'll notice is this part right here, this arch really flattens out and it doesn't give us a lot of strength. It doesn't give us a lot of balance. It doesn't give us a lot of coordination. It collapses the ankle like I talked about. And so what we wanna do is we wanna learn how to activate the arch. I'm gonna show you here and then I'm gonna show you another trick to activate the arch in a different way. So the first thing we wanna do when we activate the arch is we wanna think about making our foot shorter from the ball of the foot towards the heel of the foot. And how do we do that? Well, the easiest way I've found to do that is lift your toes up. So we're lifting our toes up and then imagine pushing this part of your toes into the ground. So lift the toes up and push that part of the toes in the ground. You see what happens? You see how my foot got shorter there? Shorter foot and a lot more arch a lot more space for me to put my finger underneath there versus here, I can barely get my finger under the side right there, okay? So that arch activation with the toes up and then we put our toes down and we keep it there, okay? A lot of people when they teach this arch activation, what they do wrong is this. They say, put your toes down and they say, push down with your toes and you see my entire ball of my foot just lifted off of my toes right here. That's not actually teaching our foot to do what we want. This drill is to teach us how to put our foot on the ground immediately create an arch, immediately create balance and stability with our toes. So now you see the first step is flexibility. The second step is activation. That's what we're working on right now. Now, this is kind of complex and it sounds like something that maybe is like, oh, I can't really do this. So I'm gonna show you a different movement right now that's gonna help you create a visual feedback to whether or not you're doing this right, all right? And so all you're gonna need is a piece of paper and you can come over here and you can work on this uh, on the ground, okay? And you can put this piece of paper on top of like a uh, linoleum, hardwood floor, any sort of surface like that. And what we're gonna do is this. You're gonna put your foot on top of that piece of paper, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to scrunch the arch. We lift the toes and we pull the foot together. You see when I do that, what happens? The piece of paper gets a ripple, okay? Now here's the hard part for most people. Can we keep the toes spread and put them back down while keeping that ripple in the paper? 
So we get that nice wide toes right here, nice active arch right here. Again, this masterclass is working from the toes up and you'll see why in a second why this is so important. Every move we do here is working up to one particular move that I think is one of the best for rehabilitating and strengthening the lower body and the lower back at the same time. So how do you put this into practice if you feel like you have feet that aren't functioning properly? Maybe you stretch your toes for you know, five or 10 minutes or if you have a toe spacer, put them in there 30 minutes at the end of the day and then once in the morning or once in the evening or both, put your foot down on the ground. If you need the piece of paper, you can. Scrunch the foot, create that little scrunch in the paper, gr grip the ground with the toes and then hold for a second and then relax and repeat. Go back to whatever your foot is, like maybe it's a flat foot in the beginning, scrunch the foot, create that arch in the paper, squeeze the ground with the toes, hold for a second and then relax. And practice that, like say at least 10 times, okay? If we do that at least 10 times throughout the day, um, you're gonna start educating your foot in what it's supposed to do. Remember, again, this is not us pumping this muscle. This is us building a mind muscle connection with our foot to teach it how to do its job, which is to create that balance and stability in the foot, which transitions up to the ankle, the knee, the hip, the lower back, et cetera.